Whew. Welcome back YouTube. Today I've got another broadhead tested. We're going to continue these. Might shoot some more videos while I'm here. I'm on location. So what does that mean for you? It means you're going to see me sweat because it's hot. It's July. When I'm shooting this, when you see it, it'll probably be August. And uh, it's windy. You got a slight breeze. And I'm going to go over these Grim Reaper broadheads. So Grim Reaper Pro Tip broadheads three blade 150 grainers to make them in 100 125 they are expandable out the front so again all three they are not held in by collars and i believe it's an inch and a half cutting diameter on these so not the biggest cut but you get three um i don't have my scale so i can't weigh also oh oh also, you get four, four uh, in these, so it's a little cheaper. So I'm going to test both the tip and the blade for sharpness. Um, I'm not going to be able to test, spin test it, or weigh it. If I have time and I can I splice it in, I might splice that information in later. Uh, but we're just going to screw it on and then go to accuracy testing. So, let's see. Sharpness of the point. Oh. So you get that down there. Could could use some touching up, but not bad for a mechanical in the point. Point doesn't necessarily have to be razor sharp. Uh, because Tanto tips aren't single bevels and they penetrate really well. And they go to uh the blade okay uh, I would put that as sharp enough to hunt with but I would like to touch it up all right again no collar so you just flip 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 this is the crossbow model so it should shoot out of a crossbow I was out here practicing my broadheads at long range uh, and that's why see that right there you don't shoot multiple arrows at one target with a broadhead. So that was a fun mistake, especially with these Raven bolts. So again, I'm going to test it. Today I am actually testing out of my Raven R10 at 61 yards. So it's the farthest I got on this range. And we'll see if uh, it's accurate. Uh, the other broadheads I've tested, I've tested with uh, fixed blades. And they were shooting a little to the right but dead on so we'll see how this one shoots stick around All right, again, I've got a little bit of a crosswind. Everything has been flying. This is where my others were at. It's right in the mix with the fixed blades. It's accurate. Uh, not much deployment. Did it deploy? All right, YouTube. That happened. They did not deploy. That's why that hole's so close. They had no, we had zero deployment. Let's see if it'll deploy. I just shove it in. Couldn't get it to deploy. So that didn't deploy. Uh, the micro tip crossbow from one or that was that was interesting that didn't it no deployment so that failed uh is it a total failure for the broadhead obviously uh grim reaper has had success but i don't know i'd have to do some more testing as of right now thumbs down uh it's the first mechanical in this test to fail but i had shot it farther this was a hundred or six hundred 
uh, yard, 600, 600, 60 yard shot. So I'm starting to think maybe uh, the broadhead, uh, maybe that's too far for, or maybe the broadhead's not correctly set up retention wise. So I'm gonna do some more broadhead testing, but right now, so what do you guys think? Honestly, I'm a little worried that these blades did not, the way these blades performed. Um, one of my tests I did before that was not on this video, and of course there'll be multiple videos, but I'll try it again. Um, I lost the footage. Every time I went to the target, they were in like this, and when I pulled them out there, and now I don't know, they might have deployed in the foam, and then re, and then closed back up. It's a little scary for me. It's a little scary for me, and I'm not willing to test it, but maybe this does suit you. Maybe this is something you really want. Um, structurally, integrity, I don't think there's a problem. That point is razor sharp. It's amazing, and if these blades do open, I think it will do an amazing job. So, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit a like button, and leave a comment below. I answer all if you have a question about these broadheads. Again, not a bad price for these for, again, that 50-ish dollar mark, and it varies. Um, and maybe this, I hope, maybe this has something in it that you need in your crossbow quiver, or even your compound quiver. But... Remember to always be proficient with your weapon. See you in the next video.